Have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Sunshine Sprat. It would be something to savor again and again. Gastronomy. The accumulative memory of time and food. Incredible. The ingredients. The origin of cooking. Highly nutritious. Goodness. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. Despite the fancy name, Alberto's dish isn't a specific recipe with a name. It's simply pan-fried fish with common European cooking techniques. Don't go looking for spread fish. Spread are very small fish similar to sardines, which is to say, not suitable to use as steaks or fillets. Also, the Chinese name is simply butter sautéed fish, not referring to any specific fish. In my case, I'm using black cod sticks because it looks the closest to the in-game picture. If you're not looking to recreate the in-game picture, then really any fish works. Since Monstat is a mishmash of Western Europe, I'm using the Italian ingredient balsamic vinegar to make the sauce. 100 milliliters of balsamic vinegar into a pot. We're going to boil this until this is about half the volume. Then add a little honey. When this cools, this will thicken up. You can make a bigger batch and keep this in a bottle. A balsamic reduction pretty much goes well with anything, even chicken or salads. For the vegetables, we can simply boil them in salted water. But here's a technique much quicker and a little more versatile. Cut the vegetables that take the longest to cook, then toss them into a pot. If you don't know how long something takes to cook, then simply judge by how hard they are. Carrot is hard, so it takes longer to cook than something flimsy like French beans. In Albedo's dish, the white stuff is supposed to be pearl onions, but those are a little bit expensive in my country and my wallet is suffering a little bit from buying black cod already, so I'm using white mushrooms instead. Mushrooms are a special case that basically cannot overcook, so in together with the carrots. Add water to about half of the vegetable's height, then salt and just a small knob of butter. You can also add in other herbs if you want. Boil this and we can take the time to chop the other vegetables that take less time to cook. After 5 minutes of boiling, add in those vegetables and let them continue to cook. Add more salt and butter as needed. I add in the cherry tomatoes only near the end as I don't want this to lose their shape. The butter will melt and infuse into the vegetables to give more flavour. Any remaining liquid will basically become vegetable stock, which is far more useful than a huge pot of hot water. While waiting for the vegetables to cook, you should also start cooking the fish so they can be served at the same time. Pat the fish dry with the paper towels, then lightly salt it on both sides. Heat up a pan on medium-low heat, olive oil and a little knob of butter in, then wait until the butter melts. In with the fish and two sprigs of rosemary, which is our substitute for lemongrass and because it kind of looks like the in-game picture. Patiently wait for 3 to 5 minutes depending on the thickness of your fish. After about 3 minutes, take a pick. If it's brown, then flip to the other side and cook for the same amount of time. Take a spoon and baste the oil and butter over. When the fish is done, the vegetable should also be done. Remove the middle bone of the fish stick, then carefully plate the vegetables. I'm using mint leaves for these leafy things here. This is also when you realise that Monstart got some huge ass plates and fish. Or maybe they just have really small vegetables. Then cry as you realise the fish is too moist and is interfering with your attempt to draw the petals. No, I'm not gonna pet the fish dryer just for this. But me being unable to draw the lines is my own fault. Arise, woodland dream. Thank you for watching to the end. Highly edited videos like these take a lot of time to produce. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe so I can produce even higher quality videos.